Hello to all my grade nines. This is a very important announcement or little presentation regarding registration, so I need your attention. So we all have, or you will have, these registration information sheets. And those sheets are going to be your Bible for registration. I'm going to highlight information for you, so I don't want anyone to make errors. All right, the first thing I wanna tell you is, the good news is, it's exactly the same process as last year. So it is nothing new, except now you are going from grade nine to grade 10. Last year we did compulsory courses and we did elective courses. Same thing next year. So every single grade nine will be taking religion, English, math, science. Instead of geography, you will now have history and two half courses, careers, um, which will direct you into your future uh, jobs and civics. It will teach you about your government. So those courses are compulsory courses, easy, fill them out. All you have to do is decide on levels, just like you did last year, academic or applied. Remember, religion is open. Now, again, you have two choices for electives. Now, I'm not gonna go through all of the electives. Bishop Ryan has lots of great electives in all the areas of tech and the arts and business and phys ed but that's why you have my path. So you can look at your electives, read the descriptors and see what interests you. So again, I need you to pick two of those. If you didn't take your phys ed in grade nine, I would suggest you take it in grade 10. All right, very, very easy. Um, in terms of when do we have to have this done? When you finish watching this video, I want you to start right away. Okay, so I would like you to do it no later than March 1st. Now, in terms of some of these special circumstances, if you took BTT 101, that was the computer course, if you took it, you should know you took it, you cannot take BTT 201, all right? They are the same course, so just keep that in mind because if you do, I will have to remove it from your backpack. You still have to earn 40 hours of Christian service. So hopefully, I know that we are in COVID, but if you could start those as soon as possible, some of you I know have started them already. The other thing is, I don't want you to panic, but it's a good idea just to have a glimpse of things you might like to do for your future. 10 to 11 is a bigger jump, but just keep that in mind. Now let's talk a little bit about summer school. I've already had students inquiring. If you are absolutely sure you are going to take a course in summer school, which by the way, we don't have the information now, it will be out on May, then please do not include it in your backpack. All right, that is very important. We don't want you taking it in summer school and then I have to remove it from your backpack for next year. So again, that information will be out in May. Um, in terms of the activity fee, it's $40, not 50, because you've already paid for your lock. You may pay cash online or cash. You are going to choose your courses on my path, same email, same password, all right? And then we will come to your class and we will register you. And we will take a copy of your options. And we also would like you, if you can, run us off a receipt to show us that you've actually paid for your activity fee. Please do not leave this. Now, one other thing I'd like to talk about. We talk, I, I mentioned very quickly levels, academic and applied. So from grade nine to grade 10, you can easily switch levels in almost every single course except math. If you took grade nine applied math and your teacher feels very confident in your skills and you feel confident, you may go to grade 10 academic but you have to take a two week transfer course in the summer, all right? And again, that won't be out till May, but you may choose mathematics academic on your course options for next year. Every other course, English and science, you may go from applied to academic. After grade 10, we will be, it's, it's a bit of a, a more difficult process, but I'll worry about that with you at the end of your grade 10 year, okay? Um, I think that it's important that you understand that this should be a priority. I don't want you leaving it to the last minute. We always have to leave room for error. 
okay? And I also don't want you panicking and, and coming and saying, Miss Maz, I don't have a clue. Yes, you do have a clue. So take a breath, pick your six compulsory courses, think about your two electives, all right? Maybe ask your friends um, what electives that, that they took. For instance, if they took, uh, I'm in the room right now, if they took Comtech, maybe you'd be interested in Comtech for grade 10. All right, so it is a very important process. It should be a priority. And please make sure on your backpack that you have eight courses. It will look like nine courses because your careers is a half a credit and your civics is a half a credit. So you should see nine in your backpack. All right, so hopefully that answers all your questions. It'll prepare you. And again, when you shut this video off, I want you going on my path and I want you to start right away. Okay, thank you very much.